everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Sock Swish and reviewing the Spy. So the Spy Gap down today, we shorted it. This actually was the Sock Swish show play of the day today and I said the target today is 440. That's exactly where it went. I'm pretty good with numbers. I'm pretty good with targets. I'm pretty good with picks. I'm pretty good with reading the market. And that's why I get paid the big bucks. So let's go over it. We closed yesterday at 443.63 and opened at 442.68. Low the day today was six cents from the number. Dropped, broke 440, bounced, flipped back. No real reason for that. No real reason at all. We actually closed neutral. So we, we didn't close green. We actually closed neutral. Why, why we push back, you could name 10 things why we fell. You could name 10 things why we rallied back. <laughs> I mean, that is the type of environment we're in. It's called volatility and it is here to stay, people. So get used to it. Again, I talked about in the room, you must have 100% conviction if you're short and we were. I said, if you don't have 100% conviction, we're lower, don't do this trade. Of course, if you did, you made money and it went to the target. So it's not hard. I really, really don't think it's hard to make money trading. I think some days are hard to train. Today was not one of them, but there are hard days i have hard days but trading itself overall is not hard so i think once you get in a groove and you get used to doing something you're good at it you'll you'll realize that too um so today was an easy read for me in the market to see what we fall talked about it, talked about it, talked about it in the room encourage people to stay with the train and we sold off so we closed here gap down rallied shorted it got the drop boom here's the sell off now what time did we hit show oh here it was looks like we hit 3 4 40 1247 so it looks like people actually bought it at 440 because of that bounce now that I'm seeing this here so we hit it around quarter to one and then people bought it into the close again that that's a that's not a play I do I don't play into the close I play into the open but um, that is a play that some people do. I don't want to sit at my desk for six hours to wait for a trade at 3.30 in the afternoon. But, uh, you know, people do that. I mean, they do. They trade in the afternoon. I trade the morning. I find the morning is highly predictable if you know how to read it. If you're looking at the right pick, if you're looking at the right thing, which the market was today. You could have also done the QQQs today. There was a bunch of stuff. And I did call puts yesterday. And they went and I called puts Friday today and they fell. And this was really a nice read in the market to see that we continue following the last three days, which we did. Again, tomorrow is all about the Fed. So we may go nowhere actually tomorrow. We may open neutral tomorrow. We close neutral here. We may do nothing until Jerome Powell starts to talk tomorrow. So I would wait and see what to do from here. But an excellent, excellent call by me in this market today. 100% conviction is what you need in order to trade. And if you don't have that, then you don't know what you're doing and you need to hire someone like me or you shouldn't be risking your money in the market until you do know what you're doing because you will lose. Again, like I said uh, earlier, you will take a trade and you will go in one direction, then you'll be down, then you'll kill it, and then you'll lose. Then you'll take another trade in the opposite direction and then you'll be down and you'll kill it and then you'll lose. That's just chopping up your account. Nobody's making money that way. You're never gonna get the big trade. This is a big trade today. This is actually a huge trade today. And I did not hold my day trade all the way down to 440. So I said, you know, again, I have called puts in this and options. I think it's easier to hold options longer. I'd like to get out of the day trades quick and fast in the morning. And by day trades, I mean trades on margin. Now there are people in the room that are doing day trades and there are people in the room that are doing options. And there are people in the room that are doing both so it's whatever you want to do. I personally like to do both, but I will exit my trades a little bit differently for the day trades and for the options because I like to do the day trades fast. If you'd like to sign up for the Golden Gap course, it's September 30th and October 1st. Still have spots available. You are welcome to email me and I have a spe fall special going on. Only a few more classes this year. So if you want to get in and take advantage of this earning season, don't miss out. Email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a good day.